Hey everyone, this is Mitch from BoardCo and today we're going to go through how to customize the surf wave on your Centurion boat for anybody who gets behind it. The first variable that we're going to talk about with customizing your surf wave is the Centurion Silent Stinger plate system. We have three plates at the back of the boat. The two on the side, the quick surf plates, are going to be what controls the flow of water from one side to the other. The Silent Stinger plate is the plate at the center of the boat and it controls the running attitude of the boat vertically, um, moving the bow up and down depending on where you have that plate set. There's a few places where you can see the adjustment of the plate. First, you can see it here on the home screen where you see the plate here in the center, or we can click the surf button here and pull it up in a really large format. This is what's available on the FI series boats. When you press the surf screen, it pulls up this same type of interface on those boats. The inter interface is just here on the left side. Here you can see that we have our center plate set at 55. We can adjust that and make and push it closer to 100, which is going to bring the bow of the boat down closer to the water, or bring it closer to zero, which is going to bring the bow up. This is going to change the shape and contour of your surf wave. The closer to 100, or the more that the bow is down in the water, the more mellow and rounded that your surf wave is going to be. That is going to be ideal for your people riding a skim style board, for smaller riders, or for people who are just getting used to getting out there surfing and are not wanting this big barreling wave to be pushing them around. If we take it closer to zero, it's going to make the wave a lot more steep and vertical. This is going to be ideal for people riding a surf style board that has big deep fins, for bigger riders that need that additional push, or for more advanced riders that are looking to get more power for tricks and to launch off the lip of the wave. Normally, people are going to be sitting between 20 and 80 on their settings, but you have the ability to adjust all the way between there. We're gonna kick out the surf wave here and show you what you can do with this center stinger plate and how it's going to affect the shaping of the wave as we make those changes. As you can see here, we have the wave set up with the center tab at 55. You can press the up or the down button here on the screen or use the paddle shifters to the sides of the steering wheel to control the wave. As we take it from 55, which is a middle setting and move down towards 20, you see that your surf wave gets significantly steeper and has more of a barrel shape to the back. This is going to be ideal for guys riding surf style boards with big deep fins or bigger riders. As we take it up higher, you see it's going to move up towards about the 80 position here. And uh, this is going to lengthen out the surf wave just a little bit and flatten and mellow it out. You still see you have a little bit of curl towards the back of the wave, but the front of and the middle section of the wave is a lot smoother and more mellow shape uh, as compared to when we had it at a lower setting. You can even take it all the way up to 100 and that's gonna really flatten the wave out quite a bit more. There are two lines here that you can see. There was the yellow line and the red line. And when you saw where I press here, it's going to move the yellow line first and the red line is going to follow. The yellow line is where you intend the tab to be and the red line is where the tab actually ends up. The next thing that we're going to talk about with dialing in your surf wave and optimizing it for anyone who gets behind the boat are the quick surf tabs that are on the sides of the boat. These can be adjusted depending on the size of the crew that you have in the boat or how much ballast that you have. The more people or ballast that you have in the boat, the more you're going to want those plates to deploy, which is going to create more shift and flow of water and give you that nice, crisp, clean surf wave there on the sides. If we're running with a really light crew, so let's say that we're running stock ballast and just three people in the boat, you'd want to have those tabs around 65 or 70. If you're wanting to get a cleaner, nicer surf wave with a large crew, let's say 12 to 16 people, you can simply take those surf tabs and adjust them up. Take them from a setting of 70 up to maybe a setting of 80, 85, maybe even 90, depending on the size of the crew. The way that you do that is here on the surf screen, you see we have surf left and surf right. Right now we're on the surf left setting, which has the um, port side tab at zero and the starboard side tab at 70, which, meaning this is 70% deployed down. If we are running a large number of people in the boat, we can adjust this, edit it, and take it up to 80, 85, really running whatever settings we need to. 
then we can hit save and save to the profile. The more people you have in the boat, the more you're going to want those tabs to engage to maintain that crisp, clean wave behind the boat. We're going to show you, since we have quite a bit of people and weight in this boat, what happens when we go from a setting of 65 up to a setting of 80 and what that does to the surf wave in optimizing it for how many people we have in the boat. All right, now we're up and going and you can see because we have a little bit larger crew in the boat and we're only running the tab at 65, it's throwing out a surf wave with a little bit of wash on the top. So if we press the edit button here on, this, on the screen, change the number of that surf tab and hit save, it's going to end up cleaning up our surf wave and making it a nice smooth face without that white wash there on the top. Right now we're running a setting of 85. You can just press up and down here on the surf screen to get you exactly where you need to be. But the idea behind this is the larger the crew that you're taking out, um, or the more weight you have in the boat, the higher that tab's gonna be engaged, where if you're going to be running with a lighter crew, you can get away with a little bit lower setting. Almost any boat out there on the market is going to throw a superior surf wave when there is a little bit more weight on the side that you are surfing on than on the counter side. With some boats, they use some complicated systems. They use a lot of integrated technology to try to achieve that simple principle. On the Centurion boats, making that change is easier than any other boat out there. All that you need to do is simply press drain on the ballast on the side that you are not surfing on until your wave is perfectly crisp and clean. This allows you to accommodate for wherever people are sitting in the boat and regardless of the number of people that you have or where those crew are situated. That way you can always get the ideal surf wave regardless of where people are at. We're gonna show you how you can use this feature in order to eliminate any kind of wash or rippling that you get on the top of the wave and truly get the best surf wave that you can find on the planet. Okay, we're up and going and we have the boat evenly weighted currently and we're going to remove a little bit of weight out of the side that we're not surfing on. You do that by pressing the ballast button and simply pressing drain here on the off side, on this case the port side that we're not surfing on. This is going to move a little bit of water out of that side and put a very slight lean on the boat. To exaggerate this even further, you can press fill again on the side we're surfing on, which is going to cause the ballast to override and fill even further beyond 100%. Here on the counter side, you see we're down at 89% right in there. The goal here is to empty just enough weight out of the other side to where your wave becomes perfectly crystal clean. You can see the settings that we're running here currently, and this is the caliber of wave you can get by just leaning a little bit of weight to one side. We hope you found that really informative. For more information, check out the rest of our videos, and be sure to check out the next video here in our Surf Wave series, how to set up the ideal surf wave for the World Wake Surfing Championships. In this video, we go through all of the pro level settings that we run and how to truly maximize the potential of your surf wave for the advanced riders and advanced drivers out there. Check that video out right here. Thanks a lot, we'll see you soon.